This is the structure of builder pattern. Here is the example of builder pattern. We will see how this is implemented in CPP source. This is the class system manager builder. It has method create, it's a pure virtual function. So it will be implemented in its derived classes. And here are the methods build part A, build part B, build part C, and build part D. These are virtual function and here default implementation is given. This is the class system manager creator. It has data member builder of class system manager builder. Here is the method set builder. It gets the system manager builder object as parameter and sets to the builder. Here is the method construct. Gets the system name as parameter and if system name is unisys then it call the create method of builder and method build part A and build part B. And if system name is IBM then it calls the create method of builder and calls the method build part C and build part D. So you can see for, for Unisys builder is building the product in parts using these methods. And for IBM, it's using the method build part C and build part D. Okay. Here is the class Unisys system manager. It has method use Unisys system manager. This one is the Unisys system manager builder derived from system manager builder. It has data member system manager of class Unisys system manager is this one and it implements the method create and in this it creates the Unisys system manager object and assign it to system manager and here is the build part A and build part B through this it builds the part of the product and here it is get system manager through this it returns the system manager which is nothing but Unisys system manager object. Here is the class IBM system manager. It has method use IBM system manager. Here is the IBM system manager builder derived from system manager builder. It has data member system manager of class IBM system manager which is this one. It implements the method create. In this it creates the object of IBM system manager and assign it to system manager and here it has build part C and build part D so through this it builds the part of IBM system manager and here is the method get system manager in this it returns the system manager which is IBM system manager Okay, we will see the main. 
we are creating system manager creator object and here we are creating unisys system manager builder and we are setting the builder in system manager creator so here unisys system manager builder is passed so we can see it here and then we are passing the system name unisys in the construct method of system manager creator so we can see the system manager creator yes this one so here we have set the builder unisys system manager builder this one we have set and then we are calling the method construct with passing unisys as a string so this part will be executed it will call the create create method of unisys system manager builder this one in this it creates the unisys system manager product and then it calls the build part a so this one will be executed so it's building the part of unisys system manager only this one and then it calls the method get system manager and get the unisys system manager object is this one similarly here it creates the object of IBM system manager builder it sets the builder it constructs the IBM system manager here this part and it gets the IBM system manager and here it uses the Genesis system manager so basically it's calling the method use Genesis system manager and here it's calling the method use IBM system manager so we can see this the method of IBM system manager and this one is the method of Genesis system manager Okay, we will run this program and we will see the output. Okay, yeah. You can see when this one is called, then it goes into the class Unisys System Manager, use Unisys System Manager method. And when this is called, IBM System Manager, use IBM System Manager inside this.